Hey YouTube, Random Tech Reviews here. So today I'll be showing you how to use the external clock sync for the Akai MPK Mini for the arpeggiator function. So when you regularly use the arpeggiator, it sets its own tempo and then you can tap it and uh, set whatever tempo you want. Uh, but the problem is if you if you have that arpeggiator going here and then you have, uh, you're working with uh, some notes over here, uh, you might get your uh, arpeggiator out of sync with the uh, tempo that you have set in your DAW. And let's say, for example, I just have it randomly at 104 on my software here, and then I'm not really sure exactly what the tempo is on that. And then when you try to be very specific with the arpeggiator, uh, it's a little difficult to do uh, to do so. So the way uh, so the way you can solve this is to send the the uh, BPM from your software to your MPK Mini. And the way you do that is you have to get uh, the MPK Mini editor software. So what you do is you go Google Akai MPK Mini software. Uh, notice there's an Akai MPK Mini MK2, which is a newer version. If you have that, get the software from that link. Uh, if you have the regular MPK Mini like I do here, then you go and get this uh, MPK Mini uh, link. And then uh, you'd click on Docs and Downloads. And then depending if you have Mac or Windows, you get the specific software. And if you screw up your presets, you can get the factory presets and get those uploaded there. Uh, I already have the software downloaded, so all I have to do is just open it. Uh, so it's MPK Mini, oops. MPK Mini Editor. Open that up. And one goofy thing is that uh, even though it says it's MPK Mini in the dropdown, uh, you still have to select the drop down and select MPK Mini, otherwise you won't uh, select it properly. Uh, and once you click Done, uh, you'll have that up uh, up and going. And then you go over down to the right hand corner and to the ARP clock. Where now the ARP clock is internal, which means you set the ARP clock by tapping this Tap Tempo button. Uh, but what we want to do is uh, get an external clock. And an external clock would come from anywhere, and it, in my case, it would be from Bitwig. But before we do that, let's upload the preset. All right, so uploaded the preset. And now we look over to the refrigerator function, and now we see that the refrigerator is on, but the tempo is not uh, blinking, which means it's waiting for a tempo from somewhere else. So let's go ahead and set up that tempo. So let's open Bitwig. Go into Options, Preferences. And uh, specifically in Bitwig, uh, you'd have to go to Options and Preferences and go into Controllers. And you add another controller under Generic, and it'll say MIDI Clock Transmitter. And I'm sure there's uh, all the other major softwares that have something similar like this, where they allow you to send out a MIDI clock uh, to uh, some instrument. So I would just Google that if you're not sure how to do that in your specific software. Uh, so in this specific uh, setup, I would have to send the clock to the MPK Mini. So it's gonna go from Bitwig to my MPK Mini. And then click OK. Now that I have the clock set up, or the external clock set up, now I'll have to start uh, the track in order to get the uh, clock to be sent over to the controller. So let's play the track and I have some claps going here. And then go over to the controller and then I can use the keys. And then if I want to sustain, I can sustain a key here. And then if I want to jack up the tempo a little bit, I can do so. so usually you're not going to end up changing the tempo a whole lot, but you're going to stick to 120. Then you'll always know that your controller is at 120. And then you can do all sorts of fun stuff with that. So. Yep, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just hit me up in the comment section. Thanks.